Hi, my name is Penny. Welcome to my channel. Today I just wanted to do like a little catch up video about the goals that I set at the start of the year. So at the beginning of the year I set five reading goals and I kind of thought I was doing okay at them but then when I went back and checked what they were maybe I'm not doing quite as well as I thought. But let's go through them one by one. So my first goal was to read 50 books this year. That's what I set my Goodreads goal to. Well, that's not true. I set it to 60, which I'll explain in goal number two. But I wanted to read 50 fiction books and I have so easily met this goal. So I've already read 89 books this year and it's like the middle of July. So I'm actually on track to read well over 100 books. So I'm pretty happy with that. But before we pat ourselves on the back too much, let's talk about goal number two. So goal number two was to read 10 work-related books, and that's why I set my Goodreads goal to 60, because 50 plus 10 is 60. Unfortunately, I haven't read any work-related books this year. And what's weird is I had actually in my little goal tracker app that I haven't been keeping up to date, I had marked myself as having read one work-related book, when, but when I tried to track down what book that actually was. I, I think it was a lie. Maybe I just lied to myself. Anyway, I haven't read any work-related books. So I think I'm going to try to really buckle down on this goal for the rest of the year. I could just give up on it, but I think that I still want to do it and I think it's achievable. Uh, so I'm going to try and read like two work-related books a month for the rest of the year. Who knows if this will actually happen, but that is my goal. So maybe I can do a little bit better in the second half of the year. So then goal number three was to get my series in progress down. So in my Goodreads, I've created two shelves, one for completed series in progress. So that's series where the author has written all the books, but I'm still catching up. And then I have another shelf for series in progress, which is where the authors are still writing more books, but I haven't caught up to where the author's up to. I do also have one other shelf, which is series waiting, which is where I'm completely caught up to the author and I'm just waiting for them to write another book. I didn't see any goals for that shelf because I can't do anything about that shelf. I just have to wait. And there's actually about 18 books on that, which has definitely gone up since the start of the year. So those authors need to get to work. But for the other two shelves, so for the series in progress shelf, I don't remember exactly how many books were on it at the start of the year, but I wanted to get it down to two or less. And it's actually five books on the list now. So I'm pretty sure that's going the wrong way. I think it might have only been four before. I do know that of those five, only three of them were there at the start of the year and the other two are because of new series that I've started. So I think really for this goal I actually just want to make it so that none of the books on my series in progress or complete series in progress books have been there or are from series that have been there for over a year. So anyway I wanted to get it under two. Currently series in progress is five but I still think I can get it under two. I just need to keep working on it. The other shelf, completed series in progress, this one I wanted to get down to four or five, um, or less of course, um, and it is six. So it's it's just a little bit over. I, can, I think I can definitely get it under four, four, under four by the end of the year. I'm gonna do it. And also on that list, actually only two of them are from the start of the year. So if we were just going to count that as a measure of a success, then I would have met that one. Regardless, the whole purpose of this goal really was to get me continuing series that I had started. And as far as that goes, I think I'm doing really well. So then goal number four was to reduce my physical TBR. So I have a whole set of shelves, which are books that I haven't read. Um, I keep them separate from my kind of my favorites shelf. And I said at the beginning of the year that I wanted it to be less than 90. I don't actually know how many it was at the start of the year, but I wanted it to be less than 90. I think actually maybe it was 90 and I just wanted it to be less. But I failed at this one too because there I counted them. There's 99 books. 
maybe I should have just made a goal not to let it go over 100. But I do really want to get it down, so I think I will try for the second half of the year to get less library books. I've been reading like about 80% library books or more so far this year. I need to really focus on reading the books that I own. So I'm going to try it quite often what I do when I see someone talking about a really cool book is I just go and put a hold on it at the library straight away. Instead of doing that, what I'm going to try and do is just go on Goodreads and mark it as want to read. And then hopefully I can get through my physical TBR. And I don't mind so much if my electronic TBR gets bigger and bigger because that is easy to cull books from that list. Whereas my physical list is much harder to get rid of books. I have a whole nother shelf of books I need to get rid of. So I'm not doing very good at that goal either. But number five, goal number five, I am doing okay at. So because I was trying so hard to hit a certain number and to reduce certain lists, I set my final goal as to read at least one book every month that I was excited about because I didn't want my reading just to become a chore of like crossing things off. So I went through and had a look. I have done pretty well at this challenge. I'm not sure there are some months where, you know, it's maybe a bit of a stretch to say that I was excited with one of the books, but most of the time I've been reading a lot of books that I am excited about and I just randomly put holds on books from the library because I was excited about them. And I mean, this is part of why I'm failing at the other goals because I've been reading too many books that I'm excited about. So is that really failure? No. No it is not. And I definitely think I can get back on track with the other goals. So we're doing okay. I would love to hear if you have any reading goals for the year. Like how are you doing with them? Better than me? Maybe? Hopefully? Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again next time.